Hey, what's up, guys? So, up next, we're gonna do Spit Boss Ken 3, Track 3, Verbal Pyrotechnics. Let's get right into it. Let's go. Long after your submission, sacred repetition, no knocks in the transmission, hard rhyme disposition, needed for the exposition, learns on the mic, making this shit a tradition. Learns, burns, tracks, every direction that he turns, the redwoods upturned, as he addresses his concerns, the point of no return, that meeting okay. was adjourned, excellence is preferred, delivered by stealthy birds, little Shakespeare, carved from a learning tree, tipped with cast iron from a bloody killing spree, hey. <laughs> perfect and guaranteed, classes for his now y'all look <laughs> the beat on this thing is killing it they're killing it with these beats y'all let's go okay Now y'all look, he said we're the whole package, and you know what, he wasn't lying, he was not fucking lying, y'all, <laughs> they are killing it, let's go, Will Shake. <laughs> More than just a bandage, verbal pyrotechnics equipped with some relics, a couple of skeptics, and a full fucking cartridge. Lines of skilled archers, some wisdom and some knowledge. Clean up your garbage and go back to fucking college. Redeem your voucher. <laughs> the top of the tower. Spit hey, now y'all look. He said, Clean up that garbage and go back to college. <laughs> he going in. Let's go. Hours, meteor showers. If you fuck with us, we'll grind you into flour, roll you out on a pan, and put you in the oven for an hour. Oh, the of a tree provide shade for you and me. <laughs> He's gonna grind you up in the flour and put you in the oven for an hour. Now, he's gonna make cookies out of your ass. <laughs> Hey, don't mess with them. They are not here to play. <laughs> Learns is out the sun, practicing Tai Chi. His effort yep. was open. Okay. Tends all of the students. Learns speaks hip hop, and he's perfectly fluent. I walk the line, but I ain't Johnny Cash's age. Same line that type of walker speaks today. Break your spine for bragging about all that carry weight. I'm here to stay. All you rappers bugging me. Get the raid mixed with light, so and pepper spray. Since salt and pepper days, I was a WMD waiting to detonate. Accelerating mock speeds. A light beam in a time machine faster than light speed. I am hip hop. I own the title D. I work for Horlick, smoke for Horlick. I'm a Get your hands out the top. He said he is hip hop. Come on. <laughs> Smoke so much weed, but falls on my armpits. I shit marijuana leaves. I'm God on guitar bits. We get on. Hey, I don't think that's healthy. I play the seed like UFOs. Hard to find. I'm Chris Reels, Chris War, and Chris Al combined. Before Christ, ready to save Whitney Houston's life. She's an angel. I'm a devil with a halo. Flipping tables. Publish my independency. Fuck a label. I rep for the charities before the salary. Millets and personality. Yo. Fuck a label. You don't need labels no more, you guys. Now, back in the old days, you needed a label. There was no YouTube. There was no, you know, Twitch. There wasn't anything like that. If you wanted to make it, the only way to do it was to get signed to a label. If you wasn't on a label, nobody wanted to hear you. <laughs> That's just the way it was. You couldn't go to a radio station and tell them, hey, I want you to play my shit. You couldn't do that. As a matter of fact, thinking about uh, the movie Airheads, that's what they tried to do. Did y'all ever see that shit? <laughs> that was fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, that's what they tried to do, except they tried to do it by force. 
they took me, they took a whole bunch of motherfuckers hostage in the radio station trying to get them to play their fucking record. <laughs> now, all they had to do was wait about 20 years. <laughs> then they just put it on YouTube. <laughs> And they went, they went to jail. They're like, well, we just have to wait for the internet thing to happen. <laughs> Let's go. Show you mad at me? Because I'm the truth, 100 proof, guaranteed. Real life, real lyrics inside a Mac, INT, OSH, Mac Pro, and PC. It's all the same. They must. Now, you know what? I'm, I'm going to say one more thing real quick about that. Because I just had a thought. I think. That now, with as easy it is for artists who wants to try it out, you know, they want to, you know, put a couple songs out and put them on YouTube and they can sort of test the waters and see how you see what people thinks about it. Right. And then there you go. An another star is born. Right. And it happens just like that. We get stars can be bored every five minutes now, right? So what I'm thinking, perhaps it's time for all the record labels to start renegotiating contracts. I think they should, because it's not like it was back then. Because now those artists, they could simply walk up to their record label and say, you know what? I don't need y'all anymore. You know, I'm going to go start on YouTube. Everybody already knows my name. As soon as I drop a few songs on YouTube without a label, I'm unchained. I could do whatever the hell I want to now. You see what I'm saying? So I think it's time record labels start realizing that. And they should start, you know, going in that direction. We're going to start giving you more freedom with your music. We're going to start, you know, we're, we're going to give you more money to, to keep you with us, right? I think they should. Because, like I said, things ain't like they was before. So, I think that's only natural. That's the way they should do it. You know, they should realize, you know, you keeping with us. You're keeping our record label going. Because what if tomorrow, what if all these artists, what if 50% of all the big name artists, what if they all went to their record labels and said, you know what, to hell with you. I'll find my own way. You know, what if they did that? A lot of record labels that's been killing it, making a killing, right? They would all have to go home. That's it. You're done. Just how fast that would be, right? A lot of people who've been making bank off of all these artists, they'd be done. They would be done. And I would hope that they've saved up for retirement. Because <laughs> that's where they would be going, to retirement, y'all. Now, I think they should start renegotiating contracts with people. That's only fair. I mean, just think, right? It's only fair. Because any artist that starts now, they don't have to go through a record label and pay the label and have the label telling them what to do and you know, you have to give the rights to your music over to the record label. Now think about the artists that we got coming up now. They got a huge advantage. They don't have to pay royalties. They don't have to sign over rights to their music to somebody else. They don't have to let somebody else tell them what they can and can't say on a la on a re on a record. They don't have to have someone standing over their shoulder saying what they can and can't say on a record. They don't have to worry about none of that. So they got a huge advantage, right? So I think it's only fair for these 
all these record labels to start reducing some of that. To reduce some of those stipulations that they had before. I can understand we got to have some, right? Some stipulations, but, you know, y'all can renegotiate. Y'all can figure out the best way, you know, like we can tone it down a little bit. That's what I'm saying. They should tell their artists, look, we're going to tone it down a little bit. We're going to, you know, reduce our our charge for producing your music we're going to reduce that that way so you can start making more you can start keeping more money in your pocket you know then we're going to reduce our we're going to reduce our influence over what you say on your records right all the way down to just saying a few things that we don't want you to say because it's still it's still their name that's getting put on the on the records, right? So I could understand a few stipulations, but you don't need to be going and telling somebody every single thing they can and can't say. That's not fair. You're supposed to let your artists speak their minds. That's what they should be doing. And if it was me, if I was anybody that was still signed to a label you know what i would do i would figure out a way to buy out that contract and be done with it that's it say so how much do you want me to give you so that we can squash this 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 deal right now because i went out that's all they got to do sure it might be a, a quite a bit of cost up front but in the long run, they're going to be much happier. They won't have to keep paying those, paying the label to do nothing but squander their opportunities, right? That, you know, to, to the, any labels that's out there, listen to what I'm telling you. Treat people good for a change. You know, y'all are... Y'all are on easy street. Y'all don't got to make the music. Y'all don't got to write the lyrics. Y'all don't got to do nothing. All you do is you sit in your office. They submit the, the material. And then you put it on a CD and that's it. And y'all just sit back and collect the paychecks. Y'all been on easy street for too damn long. Really. Y'all ain't doing hardly nothing. Now, sure, back in the old days, yes, you did do a lot because you got them on the radio, you got their name out there, you, whatever else, but they don't need that anymore. They don't need that anymore. The only thing they need now is to not having you on their backs. Things is easier now, y'all. Let's keep going. <laughs> this is badass, y'all. It got me talking, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that. Hey, he said they talking shit when they got a negative bank statement. Damn, that's cold. <laughs> That's so cold. Let's go. Play in the crime game because my hustle burps are new hustlers burps. And HIV contagion. Want the germs? No. I do not want those germs. How do sacred trees do? Now look. <laughs> I'm going to go on another tangent here, real quick. Just because he brought up something about you want those germs. Now look. A lot of people right are going around saying the masks are for control we don't want to wear the mask and all this stuff now look i'm glad about the masks you know why because number one it stops people from getting their germs all over me 
And while I'm wearing my mask, it makes me feel a little bit more protected. If germs do come at me, they're going to hit the mask. <laughs> this is pretty simple stuff to me. You know, I don't want people's old nasty, dirty germs all over me. <laughs> Let's go. Playing with the cabal. How do you free the public mind from mass control? Uh, no. <laughs> that's kind of funny that he said that because that's what I was just talking about. And that was something totally unrelated. Because that's what a lot of people are saying, right? Oh, the masks are for control, and this and that. And that. Like, who gives a damn? The masks help. You know? They help you from spreading your germs around. People don't want to be breathing your germs anymore. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, you guys. Now, look. That was a badass track. Freaking loved it. Right? Can't wait to get through the rest of these tracks. I swear, everyone that he gets on the track with, they are freaking boss level. You guys, they're freaking killing it. Alright, I hope you guys liked it. I sure as hell loved it. I'm gone.